Hello all of my fellow goblin farmers, Barnacle here, and welcome to our very first episode of our Elm Creek Let's Play on the farm that I have basically heavily modded up. So we'll get to take a look at that. If you guys haven't seen the map tour, uh, I did that previously and also did like 10 hours of live streaming on the actual landscaping and decorating of the entire farm if anybody's interested in that that'll all be in the elm playlist all right so let's get on with the show so i just got a letter um from my aunt Betsy and uncle Austin while I've been farming for the last 20 years in uh, France. So it's a little bit of bad news. Uncle Austin has died. It's the letters dated like three months ago. So he, he died, I guess three months ago, never made it back for the funeral. Didn't really know about it. She, aunt Betsy said in her letter that basically she's the farm has been on the verge of being lost to the bank um all the animals have either died or got sold off and it's in pretty rough shape she's like she can't handle it she's pretty much washed her hands of the farm moved in with her daughter down in florida and if i'm interested in taking over the farm and keeping it in the family she has basically left everything as it is left the deed and the paperwork in our name and we have to figure out what we're gonna do with it um, I just got here into Elm Creek uh, I just got dropped off here at the uh, park and ride right after right off the train station uh, so she said all of the paperwork everything that we need to know is uh, basically being stored with Curtis at the uh, shop so uh, Curtis has been a longtime family friend I guess and she said he'll have all the paperwork for us so we just need to go up and see him and see what kind of situation we're in you know i basically only came with about fifty thousand dollars i mean i had to use whatever 1500 of it to basically fly here from france take the train into elm creek you know have some uh, meals on the way and a few cocktails and that's where we're pretty much at. So hopefully we're not too much in debt. Uh, we'll see what's going on with the farm. Pretty sad that my uncle died and didn't really know about it, but I guess that's what happens when you're not, haven't really stayed close with the family and been dealing with your own life in a different country. So Yep, I had pretty much good times working as a farmhand for the last 20 years in France, but now it's time to get back to business in the United States. I haven't been on this farm since I was a kid. Well, you know, teenager, I guess. So, tried to go off on my own and make a name for myself. Now I'm back with a measly $50,000 to my name. So here's the shop. Let's go in and see Curtis and uh, see what he has to say. All right. So I signed all the paperwork and uh, got everything from Curtis and it's not really very good news. He did say we have a skid steer over here that uh, Aunt Betsy was trying to sell him to pay off another month of the loan or the debt that we owe and it's not a pretty picture let me tell you um, while we do have a lot of land and he said we basically have a ton of equipment that's paid off pretty much anything we could ever need which is why she was trying to sell off the, the skid steer to pay the first months or whatever this month's uh, loan payment which is basically 10 grand a month he said he let it go for a couple days uh, but we got to come up and make some money. So either I have to sell him this skid steer. I either have to give him my 10 grand in out of my cash surplus 
which I think we'll probably need to run the uh, farm. He said there's literally no money in the farm uh, till, you know, there's no money in the bank for uh, liquid money for the farm. So uh, he said, let's take a look at the loan. And it's not very good, not a very good picture here. We got a $5 million loan. Luckily, it's not in past due or arrears, but we only have a couple days to uh, make the payment. So otherwise, we have to sell something off. Now, we may have to sell off a bunch of equipment. Obviously, it looks like we have a ton of equipment. Um, you know, $3.5 million worth of equipment that we could sell. The land, he said right now, is worth about $1.5 million. And which is why we have... Uh, a $5 million loan. She's basically Aunt Betsy had to pretty much mortgage everything off uh, to Curtis so that we could keep the uh, farm running. But now all that money is gone too. And now they're down to just making the payments. No surplus, no equity, no anything. He did say there's some, uh, just before she left, she dropped off some chickens and some, and some ducks. And that uh, he said, just today, uh, two foals and a colt were dropped off at the farm, but there's nobody there to feed it. I guess Uncle Austin had ordered them uh, for when they were born. He pre-ordered them like four months ago, and they were born just a couple days ago, and now they're on the farm, but there's nobody there to take care of them. All the farm hands that were supposed to stick around have all left because they, they weren't getting paid. So they're out. Uh, Curtis did say that we have a couple of contracts that um, Austin, Uncle Austin, said he was going to do for uh, Adrian up up in the uh, up in the north of town, and he said that we got a couple of bailing contracts for her. Oh, and also Jimmy Caldwell. He said he could use some plowing, so. I saw him inside the store, so we might be able to... I told him I'd come up and help him with some plowing on his farm. Uh, but these two contracts were already uh, taken care of, or secured, I guess, by Uncle Austin before he passed away. Adrian said that uh, she's pretty desperate now, and she's about to give it away. But luckily, we're here, and we can go ahead and take care of it. She said most of the farm's equipment is already up there on her... Uh, farm waiting for someone to come handle it so we do have that so i guess i think we're gonna just leave this kubota skid steer here uh, i mean obviously it's worth i don't know what it's worth i would imagine it's gonna be worth something like 15 grand at least maybe more 20 grand uh, but uh curtis said he's only gonna give us 10 grand for it to pay off this month's bill um so let's go down to the farm. He wasn't able to give me a ride because he has a lot of customers in there today. So luckily it's only right down the street. Man, it's been a long time since I've been here. Can't wait to see the old farm again. I just remember it being a very nice and picturesque sort of farm with some nice farm fields overgrown with weed and barley and plants and animals everywhere it was a great place growing up as a kid and then working there as a teenager yep right across from the volunteer fire department here she is i mean it looks like the grass and stuff's getting a little bit overgrown but the flowers are still blooming looks like we got some supplies going on here yeah there's the baby horses the foals and the colt actually i don't see the colt but oh yeah there they are back there no food though foods completely oh well, it looks like they got 10 liters oh uh, well because they can graze right so they're grazing on the grass but uh, we'll have to go in and get them some food at least they have water so they can last a while with water but it looks like we have some hay and silage and straw here that we can kind of maybe take care of that for them looks like we got all the equipment we need Got some trailers in there. We got some feed and stuff here that we could use. Uh, nothing in the hay barn though. Completely empty. Uh, we got some stuff growing in the greenhouse here, so that's nice. 
Looks like we got tomatoes, strawberries, and lettuce. Nice. And then here's the farmhouse that apparently somebody left the door open. Nothing really much left around here. We get some four-wheel drive magazines, Farmer's Almanac, the Farmer's Bible, basically. Got Monopoly game down there. Cook stove still going. We got our bedroom, our bathroom, and our office up here, so it's a pretty nice house. I wonder if my old truck is still here. Grandpa's truck. Grandpa's truck. Uncle Austin's truck. It's still in here. A little worse for wear, but the TLX 2020 Trail Boss, baby. With the Kubota skin on it. Looks like it's been road rough, though. And then we got the old sidekick here, so we could just ride that around, I guess. But we probably should uh, get on up to... Um... Oh, here's my old plow. Man, I used to use this plow all the time back in the day. That was like my favorite plow. I'm glad it's still around here. Looks like some of our grass stuff is here, so we'll have to bring that up, I guess, because she said we have to mow, and then we'll have to uh, tet it and weed it, and or tet it and windrow it, bale it, do all that stuff. Here's the feeding wagon, but maybe we can use this pickup truck. Uh, looks like it might have gooseneck. No, just a fifth wheel hitch, fifth wheel type hitch on it. Um. I mean, was there a tractor here? I guess let's just load up the, uh, let's load up the lawnmower and work our way up there. are blocking our PTO on the front. We'll take the wind rower up there. We'll take another tractor up there with the lawnmower. Let's run over to the rest of the farm. Man, I just remember all kinds of animals used to be out here. Sheep pastures, cow pastures, pig pasture. They're all out here just running around. Big old silo. Oh, we do got a lot of equipment though. I wonder if they still got the big trucks. I used to love the big trucks when I was a kid. Oh, look. There's still the big, uh, big Volvo wheel loader over there. So that's nice. Looks like they got some upgrades since I've been here. I got a corn dryer and a anhydrous ammonia tank. Yeah, look at all the equipment. I sure do have a lot of equipment. I'll definitely be able to sell that off, I guess, if we, uh, can't figure out how to make enough money to pay the loan. So let's run up to Adrian's farm and get this uh, mowing. Oh, yeah, yeah, I guess I have to come back and get the lawnmower actually. So I'll see you guys when we get everything up there. So real quick, I want to get some uh, admin, I guess, out of the way. So as you can see in the top uh, right up here, the time is at 13.06. Uh, that's because I was doing some uh, layout and I set the time at 12 because I wanted it to have the light and everything. And so since we normally start at like eight o'clock in the morning, I figured I'll leave the time off or maybe a good hour and a half of actual real time. So if we go and look in the settings, I am playing with, uh, on hard economy, obviously, 
uh, traffic on seasonal growth. Yes. So we're going to play four day seasons. So it's one week, one day per week, right? Of the month. So because of that, I think I'm going to play time scale four times. So I'm going to play four times time scale, which would basically be like real time or one day, right? Uh, so as soon as we do this first episode, basically it'll be um, about the right amount of time and then I'll switch it when we start in episode two I'll switch it over to um, uh, four times time scale and we'll just get the time going snow is on of course uh, all the cop crop destruct destructions fieldstone weeds uh, periodic plowing dirt is normal I got the all I got so many of uh, um, quality of life mods and stuff like that added in and of course some equipment mods but we'll go as we go through them um i'll probably make some videos on each of the different mods that we're using so that'll be in um kind of like a noobs tutorial sort of guide uh for the people that are actually new to the game there's always going to be new players to the game right even though i've been playing since 17 and 19 off and on there are people that pick up the game every time there's a new edition that comes out so there's that Videos won't be for everybody, but they'll be there for the people that want it. Uh, stop and grow or it, automatic engine start. I'd turn that off because I like to leave the trucks running if I need to. Um, I put fuel usage to high, which uh, the AI workers can't buy anything. So that's good. Uh, what else is important? Uh, let's see. Yeah, dollar. I mean, we're in American map, so everything's dollar miles Fahrenheit. Uh, no radio. Somewhere else I put something that's uh, high to... Oh, I think it's in contracts, right? So an additional setting... Was it in here, maybe? Wild animals? No. But I think I put it in somewhere in co oh, contract setting. So I put our reward. The reward that we get for turning into contracts, I dropped that to by 20%. Um... If we use any equipment, it's going to cost us 50% more than it normally costs. Uh, we can have six consecutive contracts at a time. It doesn't really matter, right? How many contracts you say you're going to do. Uh, however, the big thing is that uh, if we cancel anything, we get a 50% penalty. And also... Uh, Oh yeah, we have to have all contracts that we accept, we have to have done by the end of the month or we get a penalty for that. So those are all the things that I think are important. Again, we don't really have any animals. We just have a couple horses. Uh, the horses are just mostly for, uh, you know, farm decoration. Same with the chickens and the ducks, right? So we just bought babies. We'll let them grow. And they'll do their thing and then the animal production is really going to be in the pigs and the sheep and the cows right the milk cows i don't think we're doing beef cattle i think we're just going to do milk um and we're going to see how that goes we're going to track all of the finances and see how we do we are going to we're playing with precision farming as you can see right here so our farms i guess i didn't even talk about this but uh let's uh, go here i purchased this whole section so 14 is where our homestead is two three and four is the animal husbandry uh area one is where all of the equipment sheds are and the big silo uh field 15 17 16 12 and 5 well those aren't the field numbers but uh, those four fields are our arable fields that we own right now and they are all in uh a dead state right there literally is nothing so as you can see these are fields these are just basically nothing grass right there's not even grass there's just dirt so obviously they'll need to be plowed up um, we'll have to first survey and do all that stuff too right because yeah um, but if we go through soil compositions nothing because they're not even considered fields at this time so we get a plow them up so we're going to do all that. So we're playing as basically as hard as I could come up with to play, but with a 
ba- you know, basically a million dollar farm, right? Well, really a $5 million farm if you think about the amount of loan that we have. So probably won't need any equipment. If we do, we'll, maybe we'll sell something off to buy that or whatever. But uh, yeah, so that's it. Let's get back. Uh, back to the show. Okay, so that was a little bit of an adventure, but now we're ready to get up here and I guess cut this field. Let's double check our contract and make sure we're doing everything right. All right, field 13 is silage. Field 14 is hay. So we need hay and silage bailed up. And which one is 13 and 14? Um, where are we at? We're up here. So 14 is one closest to us. So 13 is silage and 14 is hay. But it all needs to be cut. So we can definitely just cut the whole place down like it's all the same field. So should be good. Uh, unfold the mower. Lower the mower. Turn on the mower. Unfold the mower. Lower the mower. Turn on the mower. Turn on the mower. Oh, and what do we want to do? We want to do uh, toggle. I guess we could swath it up. Well, we have all the equipment, so let's just do. Uh, let's just widespread everything. Notice the green, the super green color. So this is uh, unconditioned grass because of the maze plus. Add on, we have unconditioned grass, then we have conditioned grass or whatever. It's conditioned grass, semi dry grass, dry grass, and then hay. I guess it's like four modes. But when we tet it, we can tell the tether to just switch it over right over to hay. Um, or we can. I feel like I missed some of that back there. I like to get a little bit along the edges so we can pick up a little bit of leftovers. All right? So we can't go too far. Otherwise, it'll say that we don't own it. And that would be bad. Alright, so let's come back here. Stay tight. Basically, I like to say we're kind of skimming. We're skimming off the surface for ourselves. Being a little greedy. It's okay to be greedy. Adrian won't mind. Everybody's been super uh, nice and, I don't know, sincere, apologetic. I guess apologetic might not be the right word, but... 
you know, sympathies from everybody. So the whole town is willing to help us out as much as we can, but the Curtis was like, none of the lone people are going to settle for anything less right now. So that's one thing we can't get any uh, extra help with. We can't take out a loan, even in our own name, because they know now that we own the farm. And that's a problem. I mean, I have good credit, but I won't be able to take out a loan. I mean, obviously, I couldn't, couldn't even bring my truck or anything with me from France, so I'm out here on my own now. But luckily, we got all the equipment we need. Okay, so that was easy enough. Make sure we haven't really missed anything. And then we'll go put this guy away. And we'll switch over to the tether, I guess, first. Adrian's got a pretty nice farm up here. And we'll just drop this guy. Oh, wrong way. Oh, no. Push forward. Forward is what we want, not reverse. We need the tether. Is the tether even up here? Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, so we need the Ted. Not this field. Not 13. We need hay on 14, right? I guess we better make sure again. Just to be safe. Adrian says we need 13 is silage. 14 is hay. And what field am I on? 14 is hay. Okay. We're good. So unfold the tether. Lower the tether. And turn turn her on and let's make some hay. Oh yeah. So see how nothing happened? <clears throat> right? That's because we have to tell it. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. We have to tell it what we're doing. So, uh, tether stage base game. That's not what we want. Conditioned, semi dry. We want hay. Let's see how we got hay there. Why is it the thing doesn't turn? Alright, we got some hay. So we're good. that grass right there. Uh, lift. That's yeah, working out pretty good. Look at that nice hay. So I have two balers over there. We have a uh, fast baler that's in the Kubota orange. That one will wrap or bail and wrap at the same time. I mean, not at the same time, but you know. Uh, and you don't have to slow down and wait for it to dump, which is also another bonus. Hey, when I miss them. Um, and then the other baler is just bailing and not wrapping. So.
we'll be able to do both of those things. Because I don't think you can turn off the wrapper. I haven't figured it out yet, but I don't think on that bass baler you can turn the wrapper off. All right, we are done with tedding. So in the, in using Maze Plus, it's set up right now to have to ted four times. Um, so to get hay, you can set that however you want, whatever makes sense for like your map or your play style or your, right? Because like, you know, in Florida, maybe you only need to ted once. But in some place that gets a lot of rain, I don't know, the northern, um, I want to just drop it. You know, you, you may need to Ted four times. the way that these things steer themselves really uh i wish they were tighter all right what do we need to do unfold lower pretty much just like everything center I don't play around with this stuff a little bit so maybe a little bit boring to you guys but I want to try to really find the best way to get like sort of get everything in one Hey, uh, got some hay. Oh, more hay. So I'm gonna work on trying to get this all like wind road up into like one big road. I mean, really don't need to be doing this, right? But like how cool would it be just to be able to get everything into the one? I won't be able to do it on this path. Jeez. I cannot turn this thing around. 
embarrassing. cool just to play around with it right okay. pretty cool idea just want to try to get this i move this back over closer to oh see it won't even let me there in that grass right there. That sucks. But hey, I'm not going to do the same thing. I just wanted to play around with it a little bit there. Because imagine on a big field how, how convenient that would be. But there is an, actually an add-on baler now that I think it's from selectable bales, which is where the fast baler comes from, that uh, uh, actually has a wind rower on it. So you can wind row and then it scoops it all into the baler at the same time with huge working with like something like 20 meters, it's crazy. Things all kind of a mess. All right, well, let's just go pick it all up. Crazy mess. Uh, let's do the. Wrapper first. So we'll do the silage. And then we'll do the hay. So this Kubota one is the fast baler. And we can turn it on. Uh, you can also pick. I think you can pick the size bales that you want. Not this one. Uh, unfold, lower, automatic drop is on. I'm still going to be able to pick up some of this, but some of it. Definitely can get this bunch here. So the current bale we're working on. Yeah, can't get this at all. Current bale we're working on has 836 liters. Uh, 
I'm not sure what the second number is. Is that 2,250 liters until the bale is full? Like, I don't know. Yeah, right. It must have went into a different compartment or something. And then wraps it and does, I mean, you don't even have to stop. I'm just stopping for the, uh, you know, for the sort of uh, animation is the word I was looking for. So basically we get to, and it does something. I wonder what it is that it does right there. And then we need to get to 3,000 liters. A wrap. And then drops. Um, basically, my point is I don't want more in the baler than is enough to get another bale. You know what I mean? Oh, I got 143 extra. That's irritating. Let's see if I have enough to make 3,000. Just, uh, no. I still ended up with more in there. The problem is you can't empty that. Right, so that's kind of annoying. But anyway, I guess since there's some in there, might as well just pick up the rest. See, it won't let it, you know, it obviously won't let you pick up something that you're not. Oh, it did. Uh, okay, that's weird. That's going to actually mess me up, probably. Now it's saying I have hay in there. Which is not what we want to do. I think we need three bales of hay to fulfill the contract. Hopefully we'll be good with that. Oh yeah, so this one you can pick the bale size. So I'm just gonna stay with small bales. Actually, we'll probably just drop. I think we'll just turn them all in. So let's just make one big bale. Highest 183. Unfold, lower. Yeah, that's not well, let us do it. Guess not. We might have a problem. We might have to go pick up one of our own. We might have to go pick up our own hay, hay bales at home. So we can complete the contract. 
Unless this bailer lets you dump everything. Whatever you have. That's what it should let you do, right? Just be like, well, it's half a bale. You got half a bale worth of uh, wheat or whatever, all right? There's some up here at the top. Maybe we can get. Adrian's gonna be pissed off if we can't finish her uh, contract. Get her hay to market like she needs. Oh, we were able to pick up some of that. That's good. There's some over here. thousand liters guess we maybe don't pick that big bale That's all we got. We this guy. I wanted to use this guy. But I think that. Did that uh, logo just light up? Now that is freaking awesome. I don't think this hitch will work, right? I need a gooseneck hitch. So, the problem is, this truck is not powerful enough. I see it has a ball in the thing, so we'll bring him up there. Alrighty. Pick up this trailer. Also have universal auto load add on, yeah. So that is pretty nice. Kind of make our life easier. Again, I don't mind things like that, like quality of life stuff, as much as um, um, it's shift. Uh, start loading a shift bar. I like that other trailer where it would just do uh, just drive by auto auto loop. Nope. Oh my god. Okay, just drive over that's fine. Don't sweat it. Ain't no thing. You know, thing like just chicken wing. Could you maybe get off? Uh, that would be helpful. Mostly because uh, the tractor doesn't want to even register there's a bail there. Still doesn't want it. So we could take these guys to the biogas plant. The truck is powerful enough to take this stuff, but it's uh, it's not really stable enough, right? Like the front end kind of comes off the ground. Also because I drive too fast.
Like you turn the corner too fast, it'll flip over. So we're just gonna turn this stuff in. I was gonna keep the silage, the leftovers, but right now it's too complicated. I gotta figure out how to best manage the equipment to get what we want. Like now I have an issue with the hay, right? So yeah, you can get up. Right now, if I unload this, which is shift U, to drop right in there. Oh no, wrong side. Shift uh, I. Gotta get closer. It's pretty cool because we can basically unload it right into the tr to the thing. <laughs> One went in there. Did it say a contract is done? Like all these extra ones are ours? That doesn't make sense. Or did all, how many bales did we have? Did all those count? But now I'm confused. Can I basically load these back up? We only had to drop one bale in there. We had five. Oh, we'll keep the rest. Let's make sure. Well, I guess because otherwise it would have took more, right? <laughs> yeah, completed. This one is the hay. That one's a problem. I don't know how we're going to solve that one yet. Uh, but we can go ahead and collect on this one. Take this back. Drop it off at the farm. Made five grand, so that's nice. Let's maybe six grand. How much do we have? 48.5, I think. Uh, 1,500. All right. Let's uh, put it. Oh, oh gosh. Loading area is full. Can't hold 27,000 liters. Drop that baby down. Yeah, she ain't going anywhere. hover over see so we just dropped off however much and we finished the contract and we can keep the rest <laughs> I'm just trying to put it in straight like seriously
All right, I forgot you can hover, you can hold over. So that's cool. All right, so we still have ourselves. How many thousand liters do we have? Uh, twelve thousand liters. And what did we have? Twenty-seven thousand. So we kept, we kept basically thirteen thousand, whatever. If I was paying a little more attention, we could have got closer. Um, so thirteen thousand liters of hay. We can go give that to the horses. Because you know what they say, he is for horses. Um, fasten that back up. And I'm going to call the episode there because I have enough editing to do as it is to fix everything else that's going on. And not make this like a two-hour episode or something. So when we come back in episode two, I will basically start the time, as I said. And we will go from 13 hundred hours and go at four times speed and go from there so i hope you guys are interested in this series i think it'll be pretty fun um i love the the map that i created could it be better sure uh, is there more things we could do sure and maybe we'll figure that out as we go along so that that way we're ready for our next map uh next modded map so not a modded map right really we're just modding one farm one farm area so creating our own farm. The map modders do a lot of work and we're not anywhere near the quality of those guys, right? So, all right guys, again, my name is Barnacle. Hope you're enjoying it here. If you feel so inclined, please feel to uh, uh, like, comment, and subscribe to my videos. That's really the best way to help out my channel and help me uh, grow, all right? Get to that first 1,000 subs. Uh, that's my key, my goal, my key? Key's not a, what does that mean? <laughs> that's my goal with the channel just to try to get to a thousand subs um it's the first week in may so hopefully we could get to a thousand subs by christmas that would be great six months or so uh, that would be amazing all right i'll talk to you guys next time and thanks for watching see ya